everybody today I'm gonna do this makeup tutorial um, it's very simple very easy and it's like a different way to use the uh, palettes that we use normally these are I'm using in this case I'm using the Anastasia soft glam and modern renaissance palette and just because I feel like we always do the same type of look you always like crease here like you know like same type of look as always so I want to use it in a bit of a different way and pair it with an unexpected type of lipstick um, which is very beautiful, very creamy, very soft so keep watching just to see what I'm using um, so yeah, I hope you really like this and just keep on watching so for this tutorial we're gonna start using the the soft glam palette and it's this one on top I have it deep potted into this Z palette because it's just easier for me to carry it around on my, in my kit so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start running my eyes and I'm gonna use the instant H rewind by Maybelline um, and I'm just gonna put it on my eyelids and, and I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers I already prepped my skin and I I have about four layers of skincare. So that's gonna be good primer for what I'm gonna put on top. However, I'm not using foundation this time because I want the makeup to look very fresh throughout the day. And I find that if I use foundation it tends to look not so great. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this one, this is the Morphe M511 and I'm going to use this light shade here on top and I'm going to put the names for each shade on the uh, description box. So I'm going to concentrate it on the brow bone and then take it down all the way in and this is going to create like a base for everything to blend in to each other seamlessly. And this looks kind of crazy right now, it looks super white, but it's fine, we're going to make it work. Now we're going to use a brush like this one, and this is the uh, Sephora Pro Shader Brush, number 17. And we're going to use this brown shade here, and this is very, very intense. So I'm just going to take it on one side of the brush, and uh, I'm actually going to tap in the excess. Remove the excess on my hand, and then I'm going to start doing like a wind shape on the outer corner of my eye and we can use you can use the uh, the tip of the uh, of the brush and first I'm just laying the color down in the uh, shape that I want to and kind of like bringing it in lining my upper lash line And I want to give it some depth in here, so I'm going to make it a tiny bit thicker and I'm going to bring it in. I don't want to blend it too far in because I'm going to layer another shadow on top, so just keep it contained. Okay, so that's my initial uh, wing shape and now I'm going to use this shade here, which is a beautiful shimmery pink type shade, and I'm gonna layer it on top, the same brush, and put it on the edge of that shade, of that brown shade that we used. And now we blend them in together. And you can take a big fluffy brush like the one that we used first and blend everything very softly. I am now going to take this shade here and mix it with a tiny bit of this one and I'm going to create sort of like a muty type shade. I want something that looks kind of like my skin tone, but gives me a bit of a, a bit of definition. 
I don't want it to register as eyeshadow though. And now I'm going to do the same on the other eye. In these, when I, I have a freckle here, so whenever I try to do, well, not when I try, whenever I do like wing type shapes, this corner here looks patchy because where my liner ends or where my eyeshadow ends, I have that freckle. So it kind of looks off. I mean, sometimes it bothers me and I try to even it out, but honestly, most of the times it's just impossible. Now I'm going to take a brown liner and I'm using the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon thing in the shade Brownie and um, I'm going to line my upper lash line just to create some depth. And with the same sh uh, shader brush, the small one, I'm going to blend that liner. Using the same brush, I'm gonna take some of that dark brown and I'm gonna just do my bottom lash line and I'm gonna blend it in with my finger because I only want to create like a soft shadow. I don't want a harsh line at all. Perfect. So now I'm gonna do my, my base and I'm not gonna use foundation. I just don't really feel like it. But I'm, I am going to use some of this Charlotte, Til Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I'm going to put it around my face on, I'm going to kind of use it as a highlighter but I'm going to keep it away from the center of my face because it's getting warm here in Miami so I don't want to be like super shiny and now I'm just going to use this all over my face so I'm gonna do under my eyes, around my nose, on my nose, in a tiny bit on my cheeks. And because I'm not using any foundation at all, I am using an artiste brush, which is very dense and is gonna give me a lot of a lot of coverage. For now, I'm gonna let that set before I apply the uh, before I apply the powder, just because I don't want to lift it off the skin. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes, and I'm gonna use the uh, Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. And I've been trying this, I've been using this lately. I I've heard great things about it for a few years now, and uh, I really like it. Uh, it provides a lot of volume. So if volume is is your thing. This is definitely worth like checking out. And wow, you can really see like the difference. And uh, I am trying to put the mascara in this type of shape just to uh, emphasize that shape that we created with the uh, with the eyeshadows. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows, and I'm using this Kiko pencil precision eyebrow pencil number one. This is the darkest one but it barely has any payout at all, which I really like because I don't want to make my brows like super dark either. And what I tend to do mostly is just fill them out on the top just because I want to give them like a bit of a lift. But um, yeah, just do yours as you would normally do. I think this could look great with a stronger brow because you know, like the eyeshadow is not so intense. So now I'm going to do powder and I'm using my old favorite Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm using a uh, setting brush by Real Techniques and I'm just applying a tiny layer on the center and under the eyes. So now I'm going to go ahead and use some blush and I'm using this NARS Dual Intensity Blush in Sexual Content and it's really beautiful. I've had it for years. Oh, this is really grubby. Uh, I've had it for years and it's just very luminous. It looks super silky and I'm just mixing both shades and I'm gonna apply it on the um, sort of like a naggy type shape. 
So like under my under my cheekbone, pulling it upwards a bit, and then going on the elbow of my cheek. Okay, so now for the last thing, I'm gonna use this Fenty lipstick, and this is the uh, plush matte lipstick. Gosh, how are you supposed to read these teeny tiny letters? Uh, and the color is Fragile Fiesta, and this is a beautiful orange, like brick orange type shade. And this lipstick, I'm not one to buy into hype, um, but these lipsticks are good stuff. They are so pigmented so creamy and even though they're matte they're not uncomfortable to use they're not drying at all they're really good um in fact this is the first uh fenty beauty product that i've bought only because i didn't want to buy something just because it was like rihanna's line so here you can see just it, it only takes one swipe and the color is so strong, beautiful shade. And I'm I'm just gonna take my my finger, and I'm gonna blend the edge. You can also use a Q-tip to do this. It probably it might be easier that way. I just don't have one here at hand, so. That smudgy edge, it gives you like a fuller lip without having to use a lip line, which I really like. So, if you, after putting the lipstick, if you see that you need a tiny bit more blush because sometimes uh, intense lipsticks, they have that effect, they can drain your face, then by all means do so. You can use the same blush that you used before or you can just like tap a little bit with your fingers and like tap it on your cheeks. So yeah, I really like this look. It's really fresh, it's really different, and I feel like the lip makes it look a tiny bit more modern. So I don't know, what do you think? Um, so yeah, this is it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And please uh, subscribe to my channel, um, subscribe to my Instagram, oh, actually follow me on Instagram. And uh, everything is going to be linked down below, as well as the products that I use. And yeah, I'll see you soon.